Hello, uh, my name is S.K. Williams, and today I would like to talk to you about peace. We live in a world where there is so much turmoil and so much suffering that peace often seems a far-off hope, a distant dream. At the same time, we find ourselves in great struggles constantly in life. Struggles over national and local politics. Struggles over philosophies. Struggles over principles. And sometimes struggles amongst people in our community, amongst friends and family, amongst even our own thoughts. Struggles are, of course, a difficult thing to get people to understand. We live in a world of struggle, you see. But, even though struggle is so inherent to our lives, what is also inherent to us is a desire for peace. It seems we don't know how to live in a world of peace, but we also don't wish to live in a world of conflict. And yet, if peace is made, we break it because we cannot hold peace. This is the great dilemma of life. It is the great struggle which we appeal to. And it is this struggle that we find discussed by Siddhartha Buddha. It is this struggle that we see discussed by the Tao Masters and by Master Kuhn, also known as Confucius in the West. This is the struggle we see discussed by many of the great thinkers in Islam or in Judaism. You can find these in Talmud, for instance. And of course, the Church Fathers and Christian traditions speak of it as well, and it is spoken of in the Bible. If you were to really look at the world's great but religious and philosophical traditions, you would find, without any doubt and without any question, that such things exist in our world. you would learn that many have discussed them and given us the solution. But the solution is not an easy one. We cannot have peace in our world unless we have peace within ourselves. Yet peace within ourselves will not inherently lead to peace in others and will not guarantee that all of the struggles that we see around us would automatically end. Yet, we can only end those struggles if we first end the struggles we have within ourselves. Our fears, our anxieties, our depression, we must all face them, and we must find a way of working through them before we can actually move on to find hope for peace within the earth. And it is this peace that the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, spoke of. Not a peace that is imposed by a military or governing order. Not one purely of a political nature. But one of our soul. 
one where we can admit what we have done, whether good or evil, and let go of those shameful acts, not by turning from them in shame and hiding them from others, but exposing them to the same light we show our good, saying this is who we were but not who we are, acknowledging our failures and our shortcomings. And from that, having them and the powers that drive us to it, our demons, if you will, would lose power over us. And we would be able to stand and move forward. It is a hard road, but one that we should take. One that we must take, if we are to find peace, and I urge you then to ask what is causing your anxiety, what is causing your fears, what is causing you to not have that peace, to be honest with yourself, and then to seek that which you need to resolve it. There is no shame in seeking counselling. There is no shame in going to a therapist or a counsellor, a psychologist, psychiatrist. There is no shame of going to a religious clergy or to someone else who can help you work through these issues by talking them out, by reasoning them out, by helping you dig deep within yourself to find those issues. And we can do that. We can appeal to the aid of others. Just as we can look within ourselves to help resolve our own issues as well. But we should always know that we alone will never resolve everything without God. And we should always turn to God. For it is only there that we can find true peace. For God is the source of all existence. And we must be willing to do the work of digging, the work of, of finding, whether we try on our own with God, or rather we go to another. It is only then that we can find true peace, true health, true happiness. And to that end, I ask only this, that we be willing to do that work, that we be willing to strive for that order and that perfection within ourselves, and that knowing we won't attain it in this life, knowing that there will always be something amiss, that we can at least strive for a measure of it, and if we gain one measure, perhaps two, one of two, perhaps three, an inch by inch, we can claim the ground of peace, and move away from the grounds of war, both actual and figurative, both physical and spiritual. And to that end, I shall take my leave, for I have said all I need. Thank you, God bless, and goodbye.